Welcome to the 21.2 Digital.ai Agility Release video. In this video, we'll cover some of the exciting enhancements available in the summer release. They include board view roadmap page, filter planning room by strategic themes, and detail view update. Let's start with enhancements to the roadmap board view. We have several updates to roadmaps. For those customers who utilize Swag, we have now made it easier to swag on the board view of the roadmaps. First, we have added swag value to the portfolio item card, as you can see here. We have also added a swag rollup for each column. Knowing the total swag for a time frame can help identify if too much or too little swag is planned. We also have added the rollup for group buy as well. Now that we have added target team as a group by option, we can see the total rollup for each target team by the time period in the roadmap. Let us take another look at group by for the roadmap. As you can see, we have expanded the group by options. Lastly, we also have updated the roadmap navigation area by moving items up to the menu and cleaning up the menu. This should help with menu items moving that potentially confuse users of the roadmap. Let's keep our planning theme going and take a look at a new enhancement for planning rooms. Let's navigate to a planning room. In this planning room, we have several portfolio items. These portfolio items can relate to different strategic themes. Under the settings, we have added a new option to the planning room to filter by a specific strategic theme. Let's select a specific strategic theme and click on Save. Now that we have applied the new filter, we can see that the portfolio items visible in this planning room belong to the strategic theme we decided to filter by. This is available for both new and existing planning rooms. That wraps up the enhancements for higher level planning. Let's take a look at a new update to the detailed view. Earlier this year, we introduced a new detail view for assets which allowed users to arrange the description field and the size. We have updated the view to include description to full width. This will persist for the user like the previous selections would. That's all we have for Agility 21.2. Let's move on to Agility Connect 21.2 highlights. We have Salesforce integration. Resync all functionality in the improved view logs page, improved sync specific work item conditions, and finally, import or export mappings from another Agility Connect instance. Let's start with Salesforce integration. Agility Connect integration for Salesforce lets you manage your customer relations and case management in collaboration with Agility. Integrating Salesforce with system across the portfolio management software development and deliver value system, enterprises can dramatically speed up the customer issue resolution times and align business and development teams to focus on the common goals. All information related to customer and case management flow bi-directionally between both the systems, providing end-to-end -end traceability in software development. Salesforce uses objects that allows to store information similar to what we have in Agility called work items. Ideally, we can map accounts from Salesforce to epics in Agility or opportunities or cases in Salesforce to stories, etc. in Agility. Let's get into a mapping and see how the configuration is done. Since there is no concept of projects in Salesforce, we show that as no project under the Salesforce project. And under the asset types, we display the four common objects for Salesforce. And those are opportunities, leads, accounts, and cases. Let's get back to the mapping. Getting into the field mapping section, we do support auto mapping for the most commonly used fields for this integration too. A variety of fields are supported including text, HTML, drop down fields like status, priority, date fields, number fields, and many more. If you come to the additional mapping section, we do support comments, attachments, conflict resolution, relationship, etc. 
Now let's create a case in Salesforce and see how that gets synced into Agility as a story. Let's click on new, give some values to the mandatory fields and also values to some fields that we have configured in the mapping, such as subject and description. We already have given some values to status and priority. Let's click on save now. As you know, it takes a minimum of 20 seconds for any sync to happen between two systems via Agility Connect. And you can always control which objects or work items to sync using the sync specific work items feature. 20 seconds is done. Let's refresh this page and see that the sync is successful and a link to the respective Agility work item is created in Salesforce. Let's click on that and that leads to the particular Agility work item directly. And the link to Salesforce is updated in Agility 2. And when you click on that, that will lead you to the respective Salesforce work item or object that we have created at the beginning. This sync can be bidirectional as per our configuration. We have seen a create from Salesforce to Agility. The same can happen from Agility to Salesforce 2. And update also will work fine between Salesforce and Agility. This entire history of both create and update between both the systems can be maintained in the view logs page of Agility Connect. The next helpful feature we have for Agility Connect is a resync all option under the view logs page. Let's get into the view logs page for a mapping where the details of every event is captured. As part of the sync, there is a possibility of seeing few sync failures sometimes. And though we provide an option to resync, it becomes quite tedious to click on resync for each work item every time. And hence to avoid this, we have given you the option to resync all, which when you click on, it gives you a confirmation message if you're ready to resync all the failed events. And if you click on OK, it tries to resync all work items in one go. Else if you want to choose some selected work items, you can do that as well using the checkboxes provided here. Just click on each of those or whatever you need to resync and click on resync selected. The functionality of these two new options resync all and resync selected remains the same like the resync that we do individually for each work item. The view logs page also gets auto refreshed for every update that happens at this page. Let's move on to improved sync specific condition. We use sync specific work item when we want only certain work items with specific values to be synced. And right now, we can give only specific values specially for the drop down fields. One of the common use case is planning levels or sprints are added every few weeks or every quarter, in fact, so it's not very easy to edit the mapping every time. And hence, for all the drop down fields like sprints, planning levels, or teams, we have added two new values under the drop down called contains or not contains. So once you select this, instead of choosing the exact value, you can give a common word like the suffix or the prefix used for the planning levels or sprints, like release, sprint, or a team name, etc. So when a new planning level or sprint is added here, that would be handled too with respect to sync specific work item. So whenever a work item satisfies these conditions given in this particular sync specific work item, only then the work item gets synced into the destination, else it would be skipped. Let's move to our next topic, import or export mappings from another Agility Connect instance. As part of this feature, we have an option to export or import the mappings from one instance of Agility Connect to another instance of Agility Connect so that we don't have to duplicate our efforts on creating mappings which were working fine in test or stage instances already. In the UI, we have provided both options, export and import. First, when we look at export, we have provided a checkbox for each mapping here. And when you click on that, the export button in the UI gets enabled. Just click on that and a JSON would be downloaded with all the details of the mapping, including the project details, asset details, the name, the field mapping section, additional mapping section, and everything that you have configured in that particular mapping. We can now use these JSON files to import our mappings into another instances of Agility Connect or the same instance also. Clicking on the drop down for import given here, we have two options. One, to import from Agility Connect, which is newly introduced for this release, 
and the next is import from ALMC Connect, which we already had from the previous releases. So let's click on import from Agility Connect. And let's upload the JSON file that we have just got from the export. And click on import mapping. Since a mapping name already exists for the same name, it's throwing us a warning message. So let's rename this as new. As you can see, all the data that was there in the JSON file is populated, including the system details, the project details, and the asset types. And under the field mapping section, all the fields that were configured in the JSON that we have just exported are intact here. Details like the customization or the conflict resolution or the default values, everything stays intact. Under the additional mapping section, comments, attachments or whatever configurations we have provided in the JSON, everything stays intact too. All you need to do is go ahead and review all these changes again and activate your mapping. Let's click on save. That's all we have for Agility Connect 21.2. This concludes the 21.2 release video. For more details, please check out the release notes on the digital.ai Agility community site. We look forward to your feedback and thanks for watching.